All right, so for today's class, we're going to look, we're going to continue to look at the tail notes. You're seeing the screen? Are you seeing the screen, ladies? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, good. All right, so for our objective for this class is describe the social practices of the Taino Indians in the Americas up to 1492. All right, what do we mean by social, pra social practices? When we talk about social, what are, we ta what are the things we are looking for? Measure. What are we? There's no right or wrong answer. We ju just tell me what you think. When you hear the word social, Social has to do with it's, what? Interaction. Inter interaction. Livelihood. Interaction. Livelihood. Yes. Leadership. 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 If you hear the word leadership, what comes to mind? Govern government. government. Political. So it, would, so it would fall under political, right? So this is, what the, this is what the exam usually asks us to do, right? The exam asks us to look at the social, economic, political, and technological aspects or practices of each of these groups, the Tainos or the, the Kalinagos and also the Mayans, right? So these are the three groups we are going to look at. Social practices of the Tainos, social, social, economic, political, technological, for the Tainos, same for the Kalinagos, same for the Mayans. Now, but, so the first thing we're going to do for this class is to look at the social practices of the Tainos. And so one of the students would have mentioned, so one of the students mentioned that social means interaction. What else comes to your mind when you're talking about social? Media. Media, social media. You are correct, and social media has to do with interaction. Yes, but do you think that they would have, would have had social media during this time? No. <laughs> All right. Anyone else? Things they did for enjoyment. Things that they did for their enjoyment. What is the, what is what what we what we usually call that word when you do things for your enjoyment? Pleasure. Recreational. Recreational leisure. Yes, these are some of the things. So when you go into the exam and they ask you, describe three social practices of the Taino. You know what they are talking about. Their interaction, right? Their interaction and the student said social media, but they didn't have social media then. But what she's meant, she really wanted to say was communication, how they communicate with each other. What they did for their enjoyment, their leisure, their practices. All right. So what are some of the social, some questions that we ask? Some questions that we ask when we are looking at social. We ask these things. Where do they live? What do they do? Have they always lived there? Do they have everything they want or need? What are their families like? So when we look at social, we're looking at their families. We're looking at their health practices, their education, right? All of that, are, how they interact, how they the personal. Yes, go ahead, Denton. Their personal. Like their personal life. Their personal life. All of that have to do with social. All right, and so. The next question that we need to ask ourselves, what were the social practices of the Tainos? What were the social practices? From your list yesterday, we just 
be taken from that list. For yes, those of you who have yesterday's yesterday, I gave up an assignment where you were supposed to do a table to list four social, four political, four economic. You have done that? Be honest with me if you haven't. Yes, sir. I sent yes, you. sir. Okay. So give me one of the social that you would have looked at. From sir? your list. Yes. Um, they created and worship Zemis. They created and worship Zemis. All right. Very good. Next one. Sir, they smoked. They smoked. Yes. Sir, they smoked the tobacco plant, Cohiba, and Cohiba. tobacco referred to the pipe in which the leaves were smoked. Very well. Very well. Good answers, ladies. Go ahead. Sir, they, they did hunting and farming and fishing. They did hunting, oh. farming, and fishing very they well. Had a, they had a leader called Cassini. Cassini. Oh, yeah. Cassini. Cassini. Yeah. All Sir. right. But so, so we understand. I know that some of the answers. So when we are looking at social, sometimes social, some of the social uh -huh. aspects, huh? we cannot separate the social from sometimes we cannot separate the social from the political or the economic because life is not like that. Everything usually interacts. So I am going to go through the in the exam or when you are doing your exam, I've come to I've put this together where I said, all right, when you are dealing with the social aspect of the tenors, these are some things that you need to look at organization or feature of their communities. So that is one aspect of their social life that we're going to look at. How did their communities organize? What are the features? How the housing look in the communities? What were the roles of the men and the women and the children? This is what we call gender roles. Or what they look like. What they also, like yes, oh, they dress. You are very correct. Or oh, they dress their social structure. Remember, in society, we have people who is society is divided by classes. Who is on top? Social structure. Who is on top? Who is in the middle of the society? Who is at the bottom of the society? Food. Social also have to do with food. What type of food that they also eat? All right. So, or what they lived in. Or what they lived in. So the first thing is that we're going to do is that we're looking, we're going to look now at their organization or the feature of their communities. And one of the first feature is that the Tainos settled near the coast and the rivers. Anywhere there's a coastal area or where there's a river, that is where they are going to settle. If you don't have a coastal area there or you don't have a river, they are not going to settle. Why do you believe that they would have settled near the coast and the river? Huh? Why do you believe that they settled near the coast and the river? So that would be easier for them to get water and food? Water and food. Food. Water is very important. And Sir? because they're hunters. Yes. And because um, they were hunters. Yes. Go ahead. And they did agriculture and fishing. So they did. Like when they used to canoe. Who is that? Marcy, mm -hmm. Marcy, you, you're asking a question? No, I'm sir. I'm making a point. I'm making a point to, um, for them to, is transportation when they have their canoes. Yes, that is correct for transportation. Yes, 
so they, that's one of the reasons why they would have settled close to the rivers and the the coastal areas and when they settled near the coastal areas and the rivers they usually settled on an elevated piece of land now this is like a, anybody has ever been to elsha or know where yes, elsha sir. is yes, sir. yes sir. You, you know that in elsha there's an elevated ele I believe it's near in Elsha Heights. So you have the yes, business. sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. So just like how you have Elsha, and you have the elevated piece of land which is like up by Elsha Heights, the river is close by. Did you know, ladies, that the Tainos used to live within that area? No, sir, I didn't know exactly there. But... Yes, so they used to live in that area. And so they, that is one area in Jamaica that they would have lived. Anybody from no central village in Spanish Town? Yes, sir. You know that they also lived in central village? No. Yes, the Tainos lived there. They found quite a lot of artifacts there for the Tainos. Why do, is there any river close by? Yes. Yes, who is saying yes? Anybody know that area? All right, so when you're driving to Spanish Town, there's an area that is called Central Village. This is before you reach Jose Marti, all right? All of that area behind Jose Marti School, like way, way behind, there is a river, which is the Rio Cobra River that runs there. And back then, if you look, where you have the big, uh, right behind Lasco, Lasco and Wesinko has a building there. Immediately behind the building is a river. So it shows that they would have settled near rivers. All right? So that is one of the first things that we know about their settlement. They, they settled near rivers, they settle near coastal areas, and the land is usually elevated. So most of you don't. Next time you are going to drive in through Spanish Town, look at, ask your parents, where is Central Village? Ask them also, where is the Teino Museum? Or there's a museum that is located there. Now, ladies, they, if you should go into a Teino Village, there are two types of houses that were there, the boyo and the kanyai. Those were the two types of houses. The cacique lived in the boyo, which is this one here, if you follow, look at the cursor on my screen. And this house usually is rectangle. Not all the time it's rectangle. Yeah. Not all the time. But in some cases, or most cases, it was a rectangular type of house. Mm -hmm. And regular people lived in the Kanyai. And one of the things you are going to realize is that different textbooks has different spelling. Now, regular people live in the Kanyai, which is this one. The houses were made from wood, Vine, thatch palm, cotton, and stone. So please add stone to your list. Sir, can you repeat, please? So the houses were made. The houses. 
The houses were made from wood, vine, cotton, scotch palm, and stone. Sometimes CXC has to name four materials that the Taino houses were built by. Wood, vine, cotton, thatch palm, and stone. And so these houses were built so that they could withstand hurricane. I don't know how they could withstand especially a category four hurricane but that's what the literature said that they were able to withstand hurricane all right now sir, in the okay sir excuse me sir go ahead sir i thought that they used mud too they also use mud they also mm -hmm. use mud they also use the mud. It was well built so which the hurricanes. Mm -hmm. They also use the mud. You're correct. Very, very correct. Sir, that must be a really strong house for it to withstand hurricane. I, I but, was thinking about it last night too. Because because how it looks it based on the picture it looks strong but not mm -hmm. strong enough to to withstand a hurricane yes it looks like the roof can fly off one yes day, so. it does mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it look it look that way to me <laughs> look i live through the hurricanes so i know if i hear a hurricane coming now i'm going to start to cry Sir, so probably depends on how you know how they say when you build a house, just as how tall the house is, that's how deep you're supposed to dig down. Mm -hmm. Probably they did that. Probably, sir. So probably but, hurricanes weren't as strong back then. True, yes. Maybe they'd usually get maybe like a tropical, uh, maybe like a uh, number of. Uh, Sorry, tropical it. depression. Tropical depression. Uh, category one. Sir, mm -hmm. but where they first settled, they never lived in places that really got hurricanes. Yes, mm -hmm. the Caribbean had quite a lot of hurricanes, man. So no, I mean before they settled in. Remember, there are certain parts of the Caribbean that get hurricanes more than others. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, for example, like places in Trinidad and in. Where they came from in the Guyana would not have had hurricane. But sir, in Jamaica they would have had to experience some sort of hurricane. It it was a must. Jamaica, Cuba, Puerto Rico, because those islands are in the hurricane belt. All right. So that was how their houses actually look like, ladies. And the material they look nice. <laughs> you also add mud and, sure. and stones to it. Go ahead. Sir, them did have light. They got light from where? Fire. They, they got light from fire and also the torch. The, the, the sun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the sun and the moon. That's where they would have also. But they also had. They also had lights too that they would have used from a volcanic stone that they would have rubbed the stones together for it to produce fire. Flint? Yes, flint. Yes, you are. No, ladies. The next thing, ladies, is that their houses had very few furniture. And one of the furniture that they had was the hammock. And some houses, not every house had a hammock. Some houses had a cotton mat. And the cotton were made from cotton, or what we call thatch palm. 
The next thing, ladies, was that thatch farms were used to make baskets and also for the roof. And the houses also had clay pots. So you know when you cook, you cook your food on the clay pot, you eat out of a clay pot, you store your food in a clay pot. Mm. So those were the two furniture. They didn't have much furniture like furniture like what we have today. All right. Mm. Any discussion on this? Sir, I remember going somewhere and they said they also eat out of calabash or they, yes. Mm. I'm not so sure. The calabash is not the calabash didn't come from from Africa. Oh, probably I'm talking about the wrong set of people. No, you could be correct. You could be correct. Mm. Because when you go to some museum, they will tell you that they they eat out of the calabash, that tree. But I'm wondering if that tree is not didn't originate from the from Africa and the Africans that brought it here. I'm mm. not sure. All right? Yes, sir. So, and remember, archaeologists are still trying to understand these people. Two ways in which we get information about these people. One, the Tainos. One, what Columbus and the Spaniards saw and they wrote down what they saw. And two, what archaeologists discover. Those are the only two ways we know how the Tainos actually live. All right? Yes, sir. All right. So the next sir, one. I have a question. Go ahead. Sir, so the Tainos are different from, they are different from um, the people that came from Africa, right? Very different. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Very different. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry, you mentioned that um the only way they got um facts from to know about the whereabouts of the Tainos is by artifacts and how Columbus saw them. So you're telling me, sir, from all the way in 1492, they had documents stored up and they're giving it to us in the 21st century. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, wow. So you can, <laughs> wow. So you, so in in the archive you have Columbus diary that he wrote. In this, in the diaries, Spaniards who came to the Caribbean from the 14th century wrote things down. In the diary, and that's the only way we can know about these people and through the archaeology because sometimes when the when the when the Spaniards came they actually had some errors. So for example, they see these people doing certain things and it was they just write down something and say, all right, this is what happened. But in reality, when archaeologists go and they discover they realize that it was not entirely accurate. So the history yes, is about the day. The, in, now, ladies. Interpretation. Yes, different interpretation when it comes to history. Now, ladies, the next thing that we need to know is that they were different. So we look at how their villages were organized, that they lived in villages close to the rivers, the sea, uh, they also had very few furniture in their houses. The next thing, their gender roles, what they also fall under social. So a student would have mentioned interaction. So interaction, or they interacted together. Males had certain things that they did. Women did certain things. Children did certain things. So children, the males, in the society, they were hunters. They did the hunting. They cleared the land. They fished. 
They were the ones who built the houses, they built the canoes. And now the, the canoes, they were, it was very difficult to build. To build, it is not easy. It was built from those big silk cotton trees. Ever see those? Ever hear about the cotton trees that they said don't be live under? Mm -mm. No, sir. You never hear that they don't be live under the cotton tree? Yes, yes sir. sir. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Yes. And you see, they, <laughs> and the, anybody has an idea how that silk cotton tree look? Sir, it's massive. It is big. So what they usually do is to cut down that cotton tree. And they would have tried, they would have built the canoe from that, from that silk cotton tree. But and sorry, it, the reason why they say um, that the cotton trees have duppies under there, is it because they used to um, hang slaves under the cotton trees? Yes, they used to hang Africans under the cotton trees, yes. The evil man. Oh. But guess what, the cotton trees, so they... So long before they hang Africans under the cotton trees, the, 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 the Tainos used to build canoes from the cotton, the silk cotton. The men also went to war. The men went to war. And they also built weapons. So they built weapons from the flint, that volcanic stone, arrow, spears. So those were some of the activities that the male did. The women now in the society, they planted crops. So while the men cleared the land, the females were the ones who did the planting. They reared the children, take care of the children. They did all the household chores or the domestic chores. Mm -hmm. They were the one who weave the basket, the weaving of the basket, mats, the hammocks. Those were the roles of the women. Now the children, go ahead. For that, the farming, was it like large farming or like domestic farming? Domestic farming, very small farming. Just for very, family. very small, just for the family. And just if you have a little lot left over, you might trade it. Mm. Children. The children were the ones who went into the field to reap the crops. They also were the, the children were the ones who went to gather, so you send them to pick the pineapple, pick the the different fruits. Sure. They sure. also the vegetables. They were the ones who fetch water, went for the water. The girls helped with the weaving. The boys also went out with the males, the old the adult males for fishing and hunting. So these were their gender roles. Look at them, ladies. Their gender roles. All right. I can go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes. No, sir. Take a picture, please. Or screenshot it. You can go, no, sir. Good. No, ladies, they also had. So in addition, so the first thing that we looked at was their recreation, not the recreation, how the villages were, villages organized. Then we look at the different gender roles. All of this is social. We are still looking at their social life. The next thing is their activities, their recreational activities. And some of the recreational activities included the smoking of tobacco, the cohiba. Please notice the word because sometimes they ask you what these words mean. In the exam, they put the indigenous word and they said, what is the meaning of these words? The smoking of tobacco, 
they also had a ball game which was like football which that had two teams it's Batos and the field was called Batie and they also had singing and dancing so when they sing and they dance together it was called Arito So that was their recreational activity. They also had conch shells. They used the conch shell from, to make for musical instruments. That was their recreational activity. Sounds like fun. It sounds like fun. Now, ladies, their social structure, who was at the head of their, so remember in society today we have like upper class, middle class, in their societies, they had the Kasik and his family, they were at the top. They were the, at the helm of the society. In the middle was the Nitanios, which those were like nobles, and beneath them were every other members of their society. So just like how some societies of king and queen, they and also princesses and prince, in their society they have the cacique, which was the head, and his family, they had quite a lot of privileges. Mm. Yes, go ahead. All right, and just two more slides before we are through. And then also, ladies, the food, their food, they planted cassava, which is what they call manioc, if that is the correct pronunciation, maize, corn, sweet potato, cotton, ground nut, tobacco. Those were some of the things that they would have planted. Meat. They also the fish. They use fish. Any type of fish they would have used: crab, laps, lobster, turtles, shellfish, parrots, ducks. Sir, and they usually eat something that looks like a rat. Manico. It is called manico. That looks like a rat. They also, and they still eat it today. And they usually eat iguanas. And also iguanas. Very well. And yellow snake. And the yellow snake. Oh, no. That must taste good, especially <laughs> the yellow snake. What? <laughs> and also, ladies, they had special dishes that pepper pot. Cassava bread, mm -hmm. jerk. You can imagine they jerking that the, mm. the, the, the lobster, not the, mm. not the lobster, you jerk the iguana. Mm. Listen, one time I, I, have a, I was in Cayman and I, my next door neighbor was making iguana. And trust me, the iguana smelled just like curry chicken. Mm. <laughs> so and they had a they had a pet. It's a dog looking animal. Yes. But they, they are... still eat it after. No, people, they never people, ate that one. No, they didn't eat the animal. But remember today that people still eat these things, right? And they had a cassava wine. They also had fruits. Pineapple. I think this was one of the, my favorite fruits from the indigenous people. Pineapple. They had star apples, mommy apples, ox plum. Ox plum is very expensive. Knees berries. Knees berries, guava, papa, or what we call papaya today. These were some of the food that they would have also uh, Yes. So in the textbook, right, it said that they had a dog which yeah. um, fed um, maize and then after they ate it as a delicacy. Oh my. That is, wow. that, that is <laughs> also... That is also correct. That's sad. 
but people eat still pets. Eat. but people still eat their pets today look how much people have the 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 dog they <laughs> eat <laughs> <laughs> the dog and the cat meow meow yes sad. people still do it <laughs> Oh, sad. Sure, but like in Jamaica, sir, how they would like have goats as pets and they would eat it, sir? Yes, yes. and pigs and chickens. That different. People have goats as pets? Yes, yes, my grandmother did. Of course, my mother does. Well, did. <laughs> did. My grandmother had a, a pet goat. You usually have a goat for, a, for about two years as a pet. Yeah. And then when it comes to and you come home one day and you just see curry chicken on the table. The oh, curry yes. goat on the table. Very good. Very That's good. happened to my grandmother. Very good. And the last one maybe, <laughs> is that the Tainos had certain customs. So they flattened the baby's head as a sign of beauty. Between two boards. Yes. They also painted their bodies with dye. The dye usually comes from a wood. So they boil the wood to get the dye, the log wood to get the dye. They also wore feathers, the parrot feathers, the colorful parrot feathers in their hair, the females, most of the females, and they wore their jewelry from beads, stones, and the conch shell. No, the very nose. nose also, the very, the cacique and his family usually wore the most gold and gold and is gold, gold is one and bronze. I believe brass. Yeah. So not everybody in the society wore gold, but they have wore the gold. Sir, sir. Yes. So like I was looking um at what the women did like throughout when they um reached puberty, mm. and it said like they used the bark of this tree. I don't remember it right now, and they used that as a um pad. Oh, I've never heard of that one before. Sir, but... I also heard in grade mm -hmm. six that the men and f the male and the females um eat separately. I need to find out that one. The let her ask my wife. <laughs> <laughs> the males and the female eat separately in the ten the for the ten no. Okay, my wife said it is for the Kalina, but not the Taino. Oh, okay. The Taino. She's a history teacher at the, at the, the university. So, she, she know about the family. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, ladies, they, so these are some of the, some of the practices. Sorry for keeping you late. Please go to your next class, ladies. It was Thank good. You. Bye, sir. <laughs> bye. Tomorrow we're going bye, to bye, meet. Sir. Bye, bye. Tomorrow we meet and we discuss the economic activities. Bye, sir. Bye, bye. Sir, are you going to send the recording? I, I will. I will send the recording and the PowerPoint. But I will send the PowerPoint at the end of the week. Okay. And the recording, the PowerPoint at the end. Yeah, the, the PowerPoint at the end of the week. The recording today. All right, bye, ladies.